Hello and welcome to another JavaScript interview questions where we examine a JavaScript coding challenge and solve it a few different ways to practice different iterators and recursive functions. This question is from HackerRank and it's labeled easy. The function is called grading students and we have to grade students according to this criteria. The grade values will be from zero through 100. A failing grade is under 40. Round up to the nearest multiple of five if the grade is within two points of that multiple. If rounding a grade results in a failing grade, do not round it. So we have a few examples on what should happen here. This first example says if the grade is 82, that's three away from 85, so it needs to stay at 82 and not get rounded. If it's at 83, that's only two points away. It's within two and it needs to be rounded to 85. Now if it's 38, that's technically a failing grade, but it will be rounded up to 40, which does pass. But if it's 24, that might be very close to 25, but it makes no difference at all. Either way, it's a failing grade, so we will not round it. This is what our input will look like. We have these two test cases, but they'll call grading students and pass in an array of numbers from 0 through 100, and these are the two test cases that we're going to try out. So we have this function, grading students, and here is the array being passed in. The first thing we'll do is create a GRA variable. I was going to use the word grade, but if it's a grades and grade, it might get a little confusing to follow. So just let yourself a GRA, meaning a single grade from that grades array. And we'll do a for loop. So for, and we'll let i equal zero if i is less than grades.length, then i++. Now inside of there, we're doing this next part here. So I'm going to grab that and put it in there. We'll read our pseudocode for the next section. Remember when we use the modulo operator, it's sort of like division, but all we're worried about is the remainder. So it does all the division and passes us back the remainder. If a grade is less than 38 or its modulo is under three, GRA equals grade, else GRA equals grade plus five minus grade modulo. Okay, so what we're going to do is start a ternary here. The first one is easy. That's if the current grade is less than 38. So just grades at i and then less than 38. That's a pretty simple one. But the other one is the modulo. So we're going to wrap this a bit. So just wrap that in parentheses, write grades i. And then after that, we're going to run the modulo 5. So what is a remainder after grades at i is divided by 5. And if that remainder is less than three, we could also just pass back the grade. So those are the two ways we could just pass back the grade. So let's question mark that and move back to just passing back the grade. GRA will equal grades I. Or, so we'll do our or statement. I'm going to go to a new line with this. This is what happens when we round. GRA is going to equal grades at i. Now we have to get the opposite of the remainder added to it. So if the remainder was three, we want the number two. If we look at this right here, 70 would have a remainder of three, but to round it to 75, we need the number two. So what we would do is we would get the remainder and we would subtract the remainder from the number five. So grades.i plus, and here's how we're going to make the remainder. Open this up and we want to get grades at i, and then we want the remainder. So make that modulo five, not four. And we need to subtract that from the number five. So we do five minus, and then you know what, I'll wrap this as well. This should work properly, but let's wrap it as well. Be very explicit about what we want here. And the only thing left in our for loop now is to actually log all these grades. So let's console.log gra. And let's see if our rounding is working properly by uncommenting this test case here. 
Okay, so we have 75, that should be rounded. 67, that's too far from 70, and it did not get rounded. 40, that should be rounded. He got himself a passing grade, and 33 shouldn't be rounded because either way, you fail. So this way works just fine, but there are several other ways that we can do it, and one of them is much, much shorter. So let's check out that one next. I will comment out all this code. I'm just going to grab this function again, copy and paste a little bit. Now we have the function grading students yet again. What we're going to do is we're going to take the grades and dot for each. So we're going to use the for each iterator here and we'll pass it el to hold the element that it's on. We will console.log and then element less than 38 or element modulo 5 is less than 3. And we can see it passing back true, uh, false, true, false, true already. Uh, let's finish out this function here. So we'll add our question mark to this ternary and element or element and then the math that we did right above. So let's just grab that. This math right here just happens again. Oh, I forgot the five. Good, and now this will give us a reference error, and it should. Uh, let's just get rid of grades i and put element. Here we are. Now we have a function that is really one line long, and it's doing the same exact thing. So we have 75, 67, 40, and 33 again in one line in a for each function. So that's the second way that we can solve it. Now there's two other ways we can solve it, and one is with pure recursion. The other one is with recursion and a helper function. I wanted to focus on the pure recursion one because we've yet to do one in this series. So let's get started on that one next. Here's our recursion function. I'm going to grab the function name, put it here, close it up, and open up the body. Now in the body, I'm going to have if grades dot length return, and that should be if there is no grades dot length. So if grades dot length is zero, this function will stop running recursively. That's what we're defining right there. We're going to let a variable called current, and that's going to equal grades dot shift. Now a shift is going to return us from the array, the first element, and it's going to remove that from the grades array. So the grades array will no longer have each grade. It will have all the rest of the grades. So if we did this right here, 73 would be gone. And the second time through, 67 would be gone. And it'd just be 38 and 33, and then so on. Uh, finally, when there's nothing left here, this function will return. So our current is grades.shift. We're going to console.log current less than 38 or current modulo 5 is less than 3. And then we'll just finish out our ternary in here. We either bring back current or we do current and we do our math again. We'll just write it out this time. It'll be current plus uh, five minus, and then in there, we'll open up again with current modulo five. And that will bring, and we see right away, it's getting the first one. We're, no, we're not recursive yet but the first element is being passed through and it's rounding it properly. Uh, let's make it 67 to make sure it doesn't round and it doesn't, good. So our function is working right and the next thing we have to do is call the function on itself. So we're going to return grading students and then the grades. Okay, we don't technically need to return this, but I'm going to put this return statement at the end anyway. 
So now we have 75, 67, 40, and 33 in this interesting function, which is recursive, and it's calling itself. Remember, if you ever do a recursive function, and I'm sure that you will, make sure you have a statement that will get you out of this function. Once we pop out all of these grades, this function can stop running. Otherwise, it might create an infinite loop, and that's the last thing we want. I think this is a pretty fun question, and it was interesting to solve it in a few different ways. I'd like to see how you guys solve it, so feel free to drop me your code. I'd love to take a look at it. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Great job on this one. Take care.